you who killed her, Spartan. Who else could? I live in torment because of you. After you took the box from Pandora's temple, Zeus was consumed with fear. He banished me to the pits of Tartarus. I was tasked by the gods to kill Ares. You killed Ares out of your need for vengeance. But this time, retribution finally comes to me, Spartan. Kratos, your death will not be a gentle one.
Show yourself, Kratos!
Now, if you're involved with the video game industry and do follow the content listener, you already know that this boss existed. Hell, it existed back in the original game when Kronos was assigned to carry the Temple of Pandora on his back. But now we're back in Tartarus to finish off the old bastard because Kratos needs to get a new weapon to find Pandora and further his quest of obvious Zeus murder. After watching the footage, you can see that while it's advertised as the fight takes place in an entire level, it sort of does, but in a more Cave of Ice way from Ocarina of Time because it's really frickin' short. Most of the battle is just bashing your way through pointless ads to flag the next QTE and continue the impossible quest to kill the biggest opponent in the frickin' universe. It involves giving him some petty wounds in order to find a way to actually kill him. I'd be forgiven that this entire fight happened because Kronos couldn't feel where Kratos was on his own body, but it's not even that. Kronos is especially retarded in this fight because he loses track of where Kratos is five seconds after he last saw him. Did Kronos think that Kratos could magically teleport or something? I was screaming at the screen playing this because there's absolutely no reason a person with an intact brain couldn't puzzle out where the ghost of Sparta was from a handful of times, so it's Kronos his fault, really, that he couldn't kill this tiny pest on top of the reason that Kratos had the strength to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Titan Kronos. After a ton of monster killing, wall climbing, and QTE craziness, Kratos finally lets loose one of Kronos' restraints and uses it as a giant stabbing knife to get up to Kronos' head in order to finally find the killing blow getting him right through the brain thanks to his Blade of Olympus, and ending the Titan's suffering in Hades' deaths. The fight's long and repetitive, and the reason it happens that way is because Kronos is a colossal moron, but it had a good use of QTEs that made doing the impossible entertaining, aside from a small lack of detail, up to having some programming issues with actually finding the finisher.